Welcome to Movie Mondays here at Sun FM with me, Casey, running you through some of the best and worst things to be watching right now on the big screen and the small screen at home. This week, we're taking a look at Elvis, we're looking at Wedding Season, and we're looking at the new series, The Sandman on Netflix. First up, we take a look at Elvis on the big screen. Now, this needs no introduction. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. We all know his songs. We all know very much about his life as well. But seeing a film about his life is really quite something, I have to say. Now, Austin Butler stars in this. He's a lesser known actor and he actually beat a number, quite a large number of famous actors to get this lead role. So a huge congratulations to him. And it really shows, he's really showing his talent in this. So much so that he actually sings 90% of the songs within this film. Now this film tells a very, very real story of Elvis and it's very insightful. And like I say, we all know various parts of his life, but seeing it all strung together in one film really kind of helps get the whole picture, which is very interesting. It tells a story of his childhood. You know, he came from a very poor background in Mississippi. Um, he grew up, he was teased a lot at school. Um, and he then found music and that was his sort of healing. He was then discovered and described as having quite a black voice at the time, like for a white man, which is very, very unusual. So he, he got adopted and taken under the wing by people within the music industry. And he then gradually starts becoming something absolutely huge. Uh, the story then takes, you know, it delves into the darker parts as well. Um, and it leads into his quite crazy lifestyle, uh, the very rock and roll lifestyle, it's a very exciting lifestyle. Um, and then it also descends into the sadder parts where he gets addicted to prescription drugs and that really you see his downfall there. Um, that's very insightful to the whole prescription drugs thing that's going on in, in the States uh, and is now a huge problem. And this, funnily enough, was sort of around the start of it. So it's very, very sad to see that. This is exciting, fun, emotional, it's everything. And it's beautifully acted, it's very well shot, and there's the live singing as well, which is incredible. So I would highly recommend this as a biopic film. It's really, really good. Next up is Wedding Season. Now this is an Indian American romantic comedy and it's quite a lot of fun to watch. It stars a character called Asha. Now she gives up her successful career in the big city as a banker and moves to New Jersey to start life afresh following breaking off her engagement. Now her mum isn't too happy about that. So what her mum does is she sets her up without her knowing, she sets her up a profile on a dating app. Meanwhile, Ravi, the lead male role, is going through something similar, whereas his parents have also decided to do the same thing. So you can guess what happens. Inadvertently, they meet up and they go on one very unsuccessful date as an opener. Now, due to the relentlessness of the parents wanting this to work, they hatch a plan together to actually pretend to have a relationship. So they do this because there's an upcoming wedding season where they have so many weddings to attend with their families and friends that are lined up that they don't want to do it alone and they're not expected to do it alone. So this is their plan. So they go to these together, but they gradually fall in love and realize their true feelings for each other. Now, obviously these kind of films, they're not for everyone. Uh, they're not usually my thing, but this time I actually had a lot of fun watching it. I would sort of half recommend it. I think it's something good to, to have if you're watching with your partner. Um, I think if you're looking for something a little bit more in the background, it sits quite well with that. Um, it's not the most exciting film in the world. It's okay. I'm going to semi-recommend this one. Finally, we take a look at The Sandman. Now, this is an American fantasy style series uh, based on the books and the comic book series by Neil Gaiman. It tells the story of Morpheus, the personification of dreams, who is captured in an occult ritual in 1916 and held captive for 106 years before escaping. <laughs> he escapes to then find himself and retrieve back everything that he lost. He's looking at restoring order to his own realm, which has all been messed up essentially. So he forms a strong team of people around him and he travels with them to different realms, some fantasy and some modern day as well. 
This is a full-on fantasy series with lots of impressive effects and cinematography. There's a strong storyline. There's some very, very good characters and some good acting as well. So it's worth a watch for sure. But if fantasy isn't your thing, I don't think you're really going to connect with it. And that's it for this week. I'll see you next time for some more reviews. Pop a link in the comments below if there's anything you'd like to add. See you next time.